What do you do if you're an actor and you never get famous and you never even really get successful and you're in your 40s and you're still chasing the same dream you had when you were nine? Asking for a friend. <laughs> oh my. Picture it. Sicily, 1922. Picture it. Connecticut, 1997. It was the middle of summer and I was on a Metro North train to New York City to finish up my last semester of college. I graduated in three years because I'm a smarty pants. And I'd already walked in a big ceremony at Lincoln Center, but the diploma case the dean handed me was empty because I was still four credits shot and I had to take one more elective during the summer. So I chose art because I thought at least I'd get to see some live nude figure models. <gasps> But it was mostly still life. I'm not a terrific painter anyway. Colorblind. Not the point. On the train to New York, I was reading a book called How to Be a Working Actor, which is all I've ever wanted to be. And here's what I could tell you from that book that is truly useful today. Nothing. None of it. Throw it out. That was 25 years ago. We live in a completely different world now. I'm not saying social media rules the roost and, you know, you gotta go get famous on TikTok if you wanna have any prayer of an acting career. But what I am saying is, here's what I wish I had read in that book 25 years ago. Instead, to be a working actor, to be a working actor, to be a working actor, be so good they can't ignore you. Focus on your relationships and make your own shit. That's it. That's all you really need when you just start now. The rest of it will come. What kind of headshot to get, how to write a resume, how to get an agent. You'll get to those things when you're ready for them, but start with be so good they can't ignore you. Focus on your relationships and make your own shit. And I know that sounds overly simplistic and reductive, but when you're just starting out in an acting career, you're pulled in a million different directions and everybody wants to make a buck off you. You have to pay for this website. You have to take this class. You have to shoot with this photographer, pay for this other website, hang these lights, own this camera. One more website, these workshops, this book, one final website, last one, I promise, cross my heart, hope to You get the idea. And I don't mean to discourage anybody, but acting is one of the few professions where you can do everything right and still never succeed at it in a way that's financially viable for you. And the reason it's like that is because luck plays a huge role in this business. If this business were a movie, luck would be the star and probably the writer and the director and also the executive producer and, you know, the silent partner getting points on the back end. But the good news is luck, according to Seneca, is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. So if your attention's on being so good they can't ignore you, you will be prepared because you'll have put in the work. And if you focus on your relationships with your fellow artists, actors, and directors, and you make your own shit, then you'll not only be in the spaces where opportunity occurs, you'll be creating those spaces. In the meantime, what if you don't get lucky immediately? The week after you graduate, or the year after you graduate, or the next decade, or dear God, it's been 25 years. <sighs> what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Um... I don't know if I'll ever be really successful as an actor. I don't know if the dream I had when I was nine can sustain 40 years of effort without some kind of payoff. And I know there's nothing wrong with giving up and trying something new and taking my life in a whole different direction, but I also know I don't want to do that. So I've got two options. I can succeed by whatever definition of success I deem appropriate, or I can learn, adapt, and try again. Failure is not an option. Failure is not an option. Failure is not an option. And I don't mean that in a kind of toxic positivity way. I mean, failure doesn't exist. You either win or you learn. And I forget that all the time. That's partly why I'm making this video. So for everybody who's watching, I'll continue to strive to be so good you can't ignore me. Neither one of you. And I'll continue to focus on my relationships because not only is that where the bulk of the joy in my life comes from, but also because in the end, he was a good friend is a better eulogy than he was a good actor and I'll keep making my own shit, including videos like this, where I talk about my life as an actor and all the various creative, administrative, mental and emotional pursuits that go along with that. You can subscribe below. But to bring it all back to where we started, what do you do if you're an actor and you never get famous? I don't know. I can't tell you. And no one else can either. Only you can figure that out. On that topic, only your opinion matters. What I can tell you is you don't ever have to be a starving artist. Despite everything I've just said, I've never starved as an actor. As for how I've avoided that particular cliche, you can check out my other YouTube channel where I talk about personal finance and investing and building wealth during the lean years. That period in your life where you can see an avalanche of cash is coming, but it's just not here yet. I'll include the link down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on set. It took me a year to make that. <laughs> Actors.
So tell me why you won't be 